In this problem, we're told three children are trying to balance on a seesaw, which includes a fulcrum rock acting as a pivot at the center, and a very light 3.2 meter long board uh, in this figure. Two playmates are already on either end. Boy A has a mass of 45 uh, kilograms. Boy B has a mass of 35 kilograms. Where should girl C, whose mass is 25 kilograms, place herself so as to balance on the seesaw? So I went ahead and drew what was in the book. And so we've got this boy, this boy, and this girl is going to sit on this. And she's going to sit some distance X away from the center, right? So we're trying to find out this distance X. And what this should tell you, right? We're going to use torque to solve this problem, right? We're going to take the sum of the torque because we know it's equal to zero, right? Because the sum of the torque is equal to zero because it's in equilibrium. We're not moving. Uh, and all these are balancing out, right? Because we want it to balance. But we need to find uh, the sum of the torques, right? So we know torque equals RF times the sine of theta. What uh, the radius is, it's essentially the distance from uh, our force and the pivot point. And they tell us the pivot point is uh, at the center, right? So this is our pivot point right here. And that's going to make this problem a bit easier. But uh, this is our pivot point. So the radius is just wherever the force is, the distance from that. Uh, the force is uh, whatever our force is going to be. And then uh, we also have uh, the sine of theta. But keep in mind, all these forces in this problem are going to be perpendicular, meaning, uh, or what theta is essentially, is the angle between where the force is and the radius, meaning it's going to be 90 degrees. Therefore, this is 90, and the sine of 90 is just 1. So we don't have to worry about it for this problem because uh, all the forces are going to be perpendicular. So it's really just RF. So we want to find it at each of these points. So where are the different forces? So to, in order to find that, let's draw a free body diagram. So yeah, so this is our free body diagram. Let's label some stuff. So this is here is going to be our pivot point, right? So the center, we have a force going up right here from the rock, right? Because this, uh, it's going to have some normal force, right? From this rock. But this is going to be canceled out and you'll see why uh, having this pivot point makes this problem easier. But yeah, so this is our force. We have um, this mass of this boy, right? So mg here. I'm going to call this, or I'll just call it mg. And then we have another boy who's going to have, sitting down on this, he's going to be causing a force, right, due to his weight, the weight force. And uh, we have one more, right? So imagine this is x, right? So this is x. And so the girl is going to sit somewhere here. We don't know exactly what this x is yet, but she's going to have a force too, right? Which is just mg again. So they're all going to, she's going to sit here somewhere and it's going to cause a force. So these right here are all our forces. So what we want to do is find the torque at each of these points and then solve. And you'll see why we're able to solve for X. So let's start with this one, MG. So MG, it's going to be this one, right? It's going to be RF. So what is the force? The force is MG. So MG, the boy's mass, let's actually just write it out. Actually, no, we're just going to plug in the value. So the boy's mass here is 35. Right, but keep in mind when you label these, you want to label it with direction. So, if this, if the force causes it to go clockwise, then you want to label that force negative. If it causes it to go counterclockwise, like this one, you want to label it positive. So keep in mind, mg, this one, if he sits, it would cause it to go this way, right? It would go down. Therefore, it's going clockwise, meaning we want to label this negative. So minus, and then the force is mg, right? His mass is 35 times gravity, which is 9.8. Yeah, so 35 times 9.8. And then what's the radius from the center? So they tell us that the length of this board is 3.2 meters, right? So this whole thing, actually, I'm going to label it down here. So 3.2 meters. And if it's at the very center and he's at the very end, it's just half the distance, right? He's 1.6 meters away. So the distance for him is just 1.6. But yeah, so that's this guy. Now let's do uh, the girl, right? Wherever she sits. And you'll see why we're able to solve for it. So once again, this will cause it to go clockwise, right? If she sits, so it's going to be negative. Her mass is 25 times 9.8. And then what is uh, the distance? We don't know the distance, right? That's what we're trying to solve for. So we label this x, right? So this distance is just x, which is what we're trying to find, right? How far she should sit away from the center. So x. Now let's do uh, the force here, I guess. Essentially, right because it's radius times force we don't know the force but the radius is zero right because it's distance from the pivot point is zero meaning this just cancels but yeah so we don't really need to write that down just uh, ignore it essentially and then let's do this one so keep in mind if the boy sitting here on the left right this guy he's going to cause it to go this way meaning it's going counterclockwise therefore we want to keep this one positive so plus mg his mass is 45 times gravity which is 9.8 times his distance uh Keep in mind the center is right here, so it's just going to be 1.6 meters again. But yeah, so 
go ahead and do this. Uh, now what we do, uh, essentially what we have to do is just solve. So what I'm going to do is just add this part to the other side. So 25 times 9.8 uh, times x right, is equal to this side. It's just going to be these two part or this part right here. So minus 35 times 9.8 times 1.6 plus 45 times 9.8 times 1.6. So what you should notice here uh, is, so let me actually rewrite this. So this is 1.6. Sorry about that. But what we can do is just divide both sides. So x, right, we're, or we're dividing both sides by this, and then we can solve for x. So divide by 25 times 9.8. So you're just going to get minus 35 times 9.8 times 1.6 plus 45 times 9.8 times 1.6, right? All over 25 times 9.8, right? So let's just plug this in our calculators. So minus 35 times 9.8 times 1.6 plus 45 times 9.8 times 1.6 and then you want to divide this whole thing right that answer by 25 times 9.8 right so if you go ahead and do that right so go ahead and do that you're gonna get point six four right so point six four meters that's going to be the distance away she needs to sit so essentially x or what is the question uh where should she place herself yeah so we're just solving for x so x is just point six four meters so the distance away from the center pivot point point six four meters uh this right here is going to be your answer so that's how far she should sit but yeah so that's your answer and uh yeah hopefully you found this useful